Welcome back to Sonic Origins Speed Strats. This is Sonic CD, the game that started the age-old question, Hey Sonic, how do you feel about Amy Rose? Really? Oh man, Sonic, it's Metal Sonic! What the? This is the future, but Sonic didn't bring us here. Wait, that means Justin, you shouted Metal Sonic so loud, we traveled through time. Why? I, I, I really like Metal Sonic. Oh, uh, anyway, that also means we missed the whole story. Justin, we have got to get back. Why don't you try to yell it in reverse or something? Wait, what? Uh, just silence. Sit let him. Oh. Right, it's probably better if Sonic does it. Following the events of Sonic the Hedgehog 1, yes, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, the mysterious little planet appears above Never Lake. Out to find the planet's legendary time stones, Dr. Eggman uses a chain to connect the nearby mountain with Little Planet. Just as Sonic arrives to save the planet from disaster, he's discovered by Amy Rose, a kind-hearted and cheerful hedgehog who likes mystical things and fortune-telling. Her trusty fortune cards reveal that she'd have a fateful encounter with Sonic. But events take an unexpected turn when Metal Sonic, Dr. Eggman's super advanced robot, and Sonic's lookalike, kidnaps Amy. It's now up to Sonic to travel to the past and the future in order to save Amy, Little Planet, and all of time from Dr. Eggman and Metal Sonic. Don't worry, you got this, Sonic. If you try, you can do anything. In Sonic CD, the blue blur will have to time travel in each zone to stop Dr. Eggman and his badniks from taking over Little Planet. Pass by these signs and reach top speed to jump to the past or the future. Sonic will have to keep his momentum in order for the time travel to work. So one could say you gotta go fast. In the past, you may find some of Eggman's equipment and holograms of Metal Sonic. They are well hidden, so you may have to explore the zone a little to find them. Destroy these villainous contraptions to save the future. Though they may look similar, these are not the Chaos Emeralds. Introducing the Time Stones. These are mystical stones that have the ability to grant the user with the power of miracles and control time once all seven are collected. Collect them all to ensure that Little Planet has a good future. To enter a special stage, reach the goal with 50 rings or more and jump into the giant ring that appears. It's similar to how you enter a special stage in Sonic 1. Whoa, Sonic's in 3D. Kind of. In order to get the time stones in each of the special stages, you'll have to defeat all the UFOs within the time limit. Your time will decrease in a flash if you touch water. So do your best to avoid it. And don't worry if you fail on the first try. In Anniversary Mode, you can use a coin to retry the special stage instantly. Along with the Spin Dash, Sonic can also use his Dash ability, also known as the Super Peel Out, to start sprinting in a flash. When playing in Anniversary Mode, Sonic has his Drop Dash ability, first introduced in Sonic Mania. Also, in this mode, you'll be able to find Coins, the new currency in Sonic Origins. And you'll be able to play as the Two-Tailed Fox Tails, with his abilities to fly and swim, exploring each level just got a whole lot easier. Story-wise, Sonic Origins includes two new animated cutscenes for Sonic CD. However, the original intro and outro are here too. Enjoy double the cutscenes in this epic adventure. Speaking of double, Sonic CD has two different soundtracks. One from the original release in Japan, and the other from the original release in America. You're able to select which soundtrack you'd like to play by selecting the soundtrack option on the game's title screen. Oh, we're at the part of the adventure where Sonic goes head-to-head -head in an all-out race against his beloved rival... Metal Sonic! Not again. Oh, ain't that a big tickle? Justin, you made my voiceover do a time warp. And they're off. 
Looks like Metal Sonic might know everything Sonic's going to do, but oh, that's not going to help him since it seems like Sonic knows everything Metal Sonic's going to do as well. It is absolute bedlam out here, folks, isn't it? But who is going to win? Why, you'll have to pull yourself up by your red bootstraps and defeat the Metal Menace yourself to find out. Next time, we'll take a journey through the hit game Sonic the Hedgehog 2, introducing a certain trusty two-tailed fox. And that's all for now, folks. Now please, change me back before I think putting meat in gelatin is a good idea. Yum! I mean yuck! No! 